What is the difference between high fantasy and epic fantasy? In the grand, dragon-infested world of fantasy literature, distinguishing between high fantasy and epic fantasy can be as tricky as convincing a dragon to part with its gold. Both genres whisk readers away to realms of magic, heroism, and the occasional inconveniently timed apocalypse. But fear not, intrepid listener. Let's embark on a quest to untangle these subgenres. But before we do, please hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. High Fantasy, more than just elvish linguistics. High Fantasy, also known as Secondary World Fantasy, takes you to an entirely different world. Think J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, where Middle Earth is as real as the overdue bills on your kitchen counter. This genre features worlds with their own set of rules, races like elves and dwarves, who are notoriously bad at following any rules and a magic system that often requires a PhD to understand. High fantasy is like that eccentric uncle who insists on speaking in Klingon. It immerses you completely in its world. Epic fantasy. It's not just big, it's epic. Epic fantasy, on the other hand, is characterized by its scale and the stakes involved. George R.R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire series is a prime example. Here. It's not just a personal quest, but the fate of entire kingdoms hanging in the balance, often involving a cast of characters so vast you need a family tree to keep track. Epic fantasy is like a family reunion. You might not know everyone's name, but you're all in it together, usually against a tyrannical, power-hungry relative. The Blurred Line, where high meets epic. The boundary between high and epic fantasy is as blurred as your vision after reading a Brandon Sanderson novel in one sitting. Sanderson's The Stormlight Archive series exemplifies this blend. It's set in a meticulously crafted world, high fantasy, and revolves around grand, world-altering conflicts, epic fantasy. It's like a banquet where every dish is both deliciously exotic and alarmingly large. The Magic Touch High fantasy often presents magic as an integral part of the world. In Terry Pratchett's Discworld series, magic is as common as a rainy day in London. Epic fantasy, like Robert Jordan's The Wheel of Time, might also feature magic, but the focus is more on the epic battles, political intrigue, and the characters' journeys, which occasionally involve less magic and more trying not to get stabbed in the back. The stakes are high and epic. In high fantasy, the stakes might be significant but often more personal, like Frodo Baggins' quest to destroy the One Ring. In epic fantasy, the stakes are, well, epic. Think of The Malazan Book of the Fallen by Steven Erickson, where the fate of entire civilizations rests on the outcomes of conflicts. While high fantasy takes you to an entirely different world, epic fantasy tells you a story of monumental scale and stakes in that world. Both genres offer an escape from reality, much like imagining yourself as a hero with fabulous hair and a sword, rather than someone who can't even wield a frying pan properly. Whether you prefer the complete immersion of high fantasy or the grand tapestry of epic fantasy, one thing is certain. In these worlds, anything is possible, except perhaps a straightforward plot. What do you think? Where do you draw the line between epic and high fantasy? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for listening. To find out more about John Cronshaw and claim your free starter library, visit johncronshaw.com.